everybody, my name is Tiffany and this is my friend Taylor. Say hi Taylor. Hi friends, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Today we are finishing up our time learning about the Holy Spirit and all the wonderful things that he does for us. We have learned that the Holy Spirit is God, that he is our guide and that he is for everyone who <laughs> believes. And today we're learning about the Holy Spirit and how he gives us strength. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the part of the Bible we're reading today is one of my favorite parts. It talks about what is called the armor of God. And in preparation for our time today, I looked up the word armor and here's what it means. It is a covering or a protection. And that's what the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is for us, our protector. So let's watch our video and see how the Holy Spirit gives us strength through the armor of God. Instead of telling a story, what if I told you about an important letter that someone wrote to talk about a special gift? Red letter. Dear Grandma, for my birthday, I would like a gift certificate to my favorite restaurant, Chocolate Girl. My parents usually just give me everything I want before I even ask for it. What? This letter is a little different. It's written by one of Jesus' disciples, Paul. And he wrote the letter to the people of a church in a place called Ephesus. The letter is full of wonderful advice about how the people should live their lives in ways that honor God. But I'm guessing it's good advice for us too. Oh yeah. Sometimes the outside world thinks Jesus' disciples are weak because they love and pray for their enemies. Paul says that Jesus' disciples are actually really strong because Mean people aren't the real enemy. The real enemy is the devil and his sneaky ways. Sneaky? How? The devil tries to mess up our relationship with God by trying to lead us to sin. That's when the gift of the Holy Spirit comes in. -doo -doo. The Holy Spirit. He helps us fight against the devil's lies and temptation. In the letter, Paul says the protection of the Holy Spirit is like a suit of armor. Charge! Awesome! Soldiers wear armor in battle. We put on the armor of God and we can stand strong. The first piece of armor Paul says we should put on is the belt of truth. Knowing God's truth helps us recognize the devil's lies. Next, we can put on the breastplate of righteousness. How do you get righteousness? Righteousness just means clean from sin. Everyone on earth has sinned. Except Jesus! And he died so we could be forgiven from our sin. When we accept Jesus, we're so clean. It's like we never, ever, even, ever sinned. Next, we should always be ready to tell others about the awesomeness of Jesus. Just like when we lace up the best shoes to run fast, we need to be prepared to talk about God. So the next piece of the armor of God is the shoes of the gospel of peace. Everyone should get a chance to hear God's story and the opportunity to have a relationship with God. God's story is the best foundation for our lives. Next is the shield of faith. Ping, ping. It protects us from the devil's attacks. Oh yeah! In battle, our enemy is constantly attacking us. A shield protects us. And Paul says that our shield is our belief and faith in Jesus. Next, Paul talks about the helmet of salvation. Salvation? Like how Jesus forgives us and heals our relationship with God? When we accept salvation through Jesus, he protects our mind when the devil tries to ruin our thoughts. And last, but not least, the sword of the Spirit. Ha ha, get behind me, Satan! The sword is God's word, the Bible. All the things God has spoken to his people since the beginning of time. Whenever the devil tries to say we're still sinners, even though Jesus has forgiven us, or when he tries to trick us into doing the wrong things, we have the Bible to show us truth and know God. Paul wanted the people in the church of Ephesus and all the people in all the churches to know that through the Holy Spirit, we have the power to resist the devil's tricks. But we have the gift of the Holy Spirit and the armor of God to make us strong. The Holy Spirit gives us strength. Thanks to Him, we're not alone in our fight. 
So you heard it, friends. The Holy Spirit is like God's armor for us. And he has given us what we need to be able to have strength and resist bad things that come our way. Hey, Taylor, would you like to read the parts of the armor for us one more time? Absolutely, I would love to. So let's open up my Bible and read from the book of Ephesians, the armor of God. It says this, let's see. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So, First, the belt of truth is the truth that comes from God and his word, not made up opinions for what feels right in the moment. Uh, and then the second is as followers of Christ, we want to live life God's way. That means doing our best to do what is right and good according to God's word and avoiding what the Bible calls evil. And then comes the gospel shoes of peace, which is sharing the good news about Jesus and what he has done for us. And then comes the shield of faith, this helps us because we focus on trusting God and having faith that he will do what he says he will. We aren't focused on other stuff that isn't good for us. And then comes the helmet of salvation, which means when we say yes to following Jesus, our salvation gives us strength. And last, but certainly not least, is the sword of the spirit, and that's the Bible. And your Bible is full of amazing true stories and things about God. And when we fill our minds and hearts with them, the Holy Spirit gives us strength. That's right, and that brings us to our bottom line for today. It says this, the Holy Spirit gives me strength. Can you say that with us? The, the Holy Spirit, Spirit gives me strength. strength. Thank you so much for joining us this whole month, this whole time we've been learning about the Holy Spirit. We hope to see you next time. Bye.